music is pure entertainment. Sometimes they got a good message, great, but a lot of times it's just for your fun and enjoyment. Now, TLC made no scrubs, and we treated that bullshit like some sort of national anthem, didn't we? <laughs> Man try to talk to you, you got your hand all in his face, no. I don't want your number. <laughs> Y'all gonna fuck around, miss your man with that bullshit. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. You can't listen to TLC. How you gonna take love advice from a bitch named Left Eye? <laughs> you ask that hoe about a contact lens or something, don't ask about no man. It ain't like she got a history of harmony in her own goddamn relationships, is it? Ain't that the same one that burned up her scrub tub? <laughs> don't fuck around with TLC. They contradicted their own selves. Cause I know they singing they don't want no scrub. That's cause they got this $10 million record deal. But a few years ago when their ass was bankrupt, they wasn't too proud to beg, was they? <laughs> they was creeping and shit, wasn't they? You caught them hoes on the right day at the right time. You got the red light special, didn't you? <laughs> I wasn't impressed no way, cause that shit sound like a joke that I wrote. All you have to do is break out them old deaf comedy jam tapes. I'm the bitch on there saying, hey ladies, why is it when there's two brothers in the car is always the one on the passenger side that says, hey baby, you wanna ride? And I say, what the fuck I'ma do, take your place? Ain't you getting a ride? <laughs> These helpers put music to it, got a hit record, ain't gave me a fucking nickel. <laughs> when they find left eye, I'm suing the bitch for that right eye she got. That's what's going on. <laughs> crazy ass people, crazy ass world. I know why this world crazy too. I've been checking this bullshit out. You know why we fucked up? Cause we eating them fucking oodles of noodles. That's why. <laughs> Raymond noodles, Roman noodles, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. That shit ain't lunch. When you had spam, you didn't do no crazy shit. Now you got some bullshit that all it take is water. Three minutes only cost a dime a pack. That's a trap. That ain't no fucking meal. And it ain't just the kids, you know. That's why I'm glad my grandmother was here until she was 92, cause she balanced this crazy shit out for you. You know, when you got somebody in your life 92 years old, that's a wisdom you can't buy nowhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I know what she mean now, cause my grandmother used to always say, you know, we living in our last days. She used to say that all the time, we living in our last days. She fucked me up as a child. You don't say no bullshit like that to a five-year-old. Every day I woke up scared than a motherfucker. Grandma, this it. Can I ride my bike one more time? I love my grandma, but she scared the fuck out of me for years. When I grew up and she was older, now she, when she was 92, she said that same shit. And I just grabbed her ass in the collar and said, hey, Grandma, why the fuck we got to be living in our last day? That's your goddamn fantasy. You're 92, you done did all the fuck you want to do. I bet you when you was 20 and fucking granddaddy, we wasn't living in our last day, was it? Why would you want to share that kind of shit with somebody anyway? Say you knew we living in our last days. Why the fuck you gonna fuck up my last few days with the news? Just buy a bitch a pizza and surprise a hoe. 